all she says for a long time to come. Just those three words. <laughs> Maybe that ought to be the title. Three lethal words. <laughs> a pun, you know. Now, the next part of the story is... is confused to me. It's, it, it's not clear in my mind at all. There are doctors in it and people whispering to each other and looking at Sally and a long automobile ride ending at a gate. She's taken to an asylum, a large, sprawling place like a, like a country club with guards. And they start to put her together again. They're very kind and patient and good at their jobs. And they put all the pieces in place, all except one. She hides that one from them because there's something she has to do. One night while playing canasta with one of the nurses in her room, she starts to do it. Care to play another hand, Sally? Isn't it time for you to go off duty? Oh, it's another half hour. Deal. Okay. Going to town? Mm-hmm. Got a date? Uh-huh. Square dance. Got a new dress I'm going to wear. Nice? Oh, I'd show it to you, but it's my valise. My valise is in the car. Change at your sister's house, huh? Uh-huh. Fifteen. Where are you going? To get a hanky. Oh. They're very careful at the asylum. There's nothing you can use as a weapon. But the bureau in your room has three drawers, and you pull out one of the drawers all the way... And raise it above your head and get behind the nurse while her back is turned. And she's looking at the cards. And then you carry her to the bed and take off her uniform and put it on yourself. And cover her with the blankets. Then down the corridor and down the steps and across the lawn to the parking lot. There's only one bad moment at the gate. But all the men at the gate can see is your white uniform in the dark. And he knows the car. So you just wave to him. And he opens the gate. And you drive through. And once through, you step on the gas, and you're free. Free! Jane. Jane. What? Sit down, Jane. I, uh, got carried away. Uh, where was I? Uh, Sally was driving away from the asylum. Uh, have a cigarette. She's... Driving? Oh, yes. Uh, as she drives through the darkness toward Hollywood, she's filled with a terrible eagerness. You see, she knows exactly what she's going to do. She's not going to kill Chris. Oh, no. Oh, well, that's too good for him. He's got to be destroyed. But it's no good if he's not alive to appreciate that. He's got to know he's been destroyed and go on knowing it. So she's decided to change that handsome face of his. Turn it into a scarred and pitted monstrosity. Something that will never, never again face a camera, nor attract a woman, nor cease to remind him that once there was a wife named Sally. Who loved him so much. She reaches Hollywood at dawn. Then she abandons the car on a side street and walks and walks until she passes a shop selling artist supplies. Can I help you? Yes, I am. Um, I'm doing some etching, and I... need some plates? Got some fine copper plates. No, no, I have enough plates. I'm out of acid, though. What mordants do you have? Let me see. Got some Dutch. Got the iron perchloride. Got the nitric. That's best. I'll take a bottle. I I don't seem to have it diluted. I'll take it full strength. Yes, ma'am. Oh, I don't suppose I have to warn you to be careful about handling it. Oh, I'll be very careful. Here you are. Thank you. Doing landscapes? No. No, as a matter of fact, I'm I'm doing a portrait. Portrait of a man. From life. And there she was, out in the street with a bottle in her hand. A bottle just like this one, Philip. She's been a writer, and she's known the joy of creation. But it can't compare to the exaltation she feels now. Now as she goes forth to experience the joy of destruction. I'll destroy him, she says. I'll destroy him. I'll destroy him! Sitting 
sitting here talking to you. It's like old times, isn't it, Chris? Uh, uh, Philip. What? You, you just called me Chris, the name of the young actor in your story. You called me Chris instead of Philip. Philip? Oh, yes, it, it's Philip, isn't it? For a moment, I... Uh, Jane, why don't you put the bottle down on the desk? Why? Well, just put it down on the desk, huh? Why should I? Well, you might accidentally spill some, gesturing with it in your hand, and it does contain a powerful acid. Don't you think I know that? Do you think I'm irresponsible or something? Oh, no, no, of course I don't not. think I care for your attitude, my young friend. What makes you think I can be spoken to like that? What makes you think you can treat me like this, Chris? What makes you think you can get away with it? You listen to me, Chris. Philip J., not Chris. Philip. Chris is the young man in your story. Now, go on with your story, Jane. Yes, I, I, I'm enjoying it. Story? Yes. Uh, Sally Summers had just left the shop with a bottle of nitric acid in her hand. Uh, what did she do then? Huh. You really enjoy it, don't you? It is rather good, isn't it? Except the end. I don't like the end. It's not the end I want. I, I, uh, I, 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 that is she, Sally, sets out to locate Chris. She enters a drugstore, goes into a phone booth. Hollywood 9, 5, 2, 6, 4. Hello. This is Mr. Summers' housekeeper. Is it possible for me to speak to Mr. Summers, Christopher Summers? One moment, please. Hello? Hello? Hello, Mr. Summers is with the Lucifer Lab Unit. They're shooting out on the back lot today. I can't put you through to them. Care to leave a message? No. It can wait. Thank you. Sure you don't want to come in for a drink, huh? Oh, no, I want to shower first. Chris, is there any word on her? Uh, no, I'm not worried, are you? Not for myself, no. Well, you don't have to worry about me. Chris. Now go shower. I'll pick you up for dinner. Uh, where are we going tonight? Well, Zelda and Charlie expect us at their place. Chris. Now, don't look so worried. It's all right, I tell you. I'll see you soon. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Hello, Chris. S Sally. Long time no see. Well, Sally, I... Sit down, Chris. Sit down. How are you, Sally? I want to look at you. Huh. I'd almost forgotten how good-looking you are. You really are, you know. How's the career? The career, how goes it? Oh, all right, I guess. Uh, Sally... Are they starring you? Yeah, beginning with this one. Sally... Good. Are you happy? No more dirty dicks? Oh, I'm happy, I guess. This is the picture of the lucky girl? She's lovely. So young. I'm very pleased, Chris. It's just the way I wanted you for the moment. Successful, happy, in love. Sally, I, I want you to know I never meant to play the heavy in your life. I know. Don't think I never felt badly about everything. I know. Words aren't much good, but I want you to know I didn't mean for you to be hurt. I know. And if there's anything I can do for you. There's one thing you can do for me. Just name it. Look at me. Take a good, long look at my face. Why? Because I want it to be the last thing you're ever going to see! Oh! 